Hello and welcome to today's video where we will be discussing why teaching English in Vietnam may not be the best idea. As someone who has taught English abroad before, I can tell you that it's an incredibly rewarding experience, but unfortunately, there are some challenges that come with it. And sometimes those challenges come from unexpected places. My name is Mr. Andrew, or Andy Lauscher, or Teacher Andalou, and today I will tell you about my terrible experience in Vietnam. Allow me to introduce you to Jenny, an agent based in Hanoi who has been deceiving foreign teachers and forcing them to live in substandard apartments. Many teachers have fallen victim to her scams, and it's unfortunate because it is tarnishing the reputation of the teaching industry in Vietnam. She promised to find a suitable apartment for me, but instead forced me to reside in a dire room without a kitchen. The room was located far from my school, and I could not agree to stay there. Consequently, I had to pay every day at the hotel, which ended up costing me a lot of money. She refused to split the cost of the hotel with me or provide any support. Instead, she claimed that I had no other option but to live there, and continued to assure me that she was searching for a better place, which never materialized. She had already paid for the terrible room and expected me to live there. It was enough, I became tired of living in a cheap hotel district where locals sold dog meat outside. I decided to pack my belongings and leave. When I was checking out, she came to the reception with her foreign boyfriend. As soon as I informed her of my decision, they both tried their best to persuade me to stay, promising me mountains of gold. I did not believe them, and at that moment, I understood that they were attempting to cheat me again. Throughout my time working at the school, I paid for my transportation and lunch. It may seem unbelievable, but Vietnamese teachers are required to pay for their lunches at school, and it cost me a considerable amount of money. In the end, I asked Jenny to at least compensate me for the classes I taught, but she refused to pay me anything. Her foreign boyfriend always supported her at our meetings and would say things like, bro, everything will be okay. They even collaborated to try and sell me his secondhand motorbike while I was still living in the hotel. What a ridiculous suggestion. Therefore, I would advise you to remember their faces and avoid any dealings with them if you plan to teach English in Vietnam. It's important to note that not all agents in Vietnam are like Jenny. There are many reputable and honest agents out there who genuinely want to help teachers succeed in their teaching careers. However, it's essential to do your research carefully before choosing an agent to work with, as it can make a significant difference in your experience. I myself have never experienced anything like what Jenny is doing, even when I worked in Nepal and Africa. This goes to show that problems like these are not universal and that the situation in Vietnam may not reflect the reality in other countries. There are also other factors to consider when deciding whether or not to teach English in Vietnam. For example, the cost of living in Vietnam may be cheaper than in some Western countries, but salaries for teachers are relatively low. This can make it challenging to live comfortably unless you're willing to take on additional jobs or work long hours. Another thing to keep in mind is the language barrier. While many Vietnamese people do speak English, it's not universal, and you may find yourself struggling to communicate with locals, depending on where you are. Finally, it's important to acknowledge that cultural differences can be challenging to navigate, especially if you haven't lived in Vietnam before. Things like social norms, customs, and traditions can be significantly different from what you're used to, and it can take time to adjust. In conclusion, while teaching English in Vietnam may seem like a good idea on the surface, there are many factors to consider before making the decision. It's essential to do thorough research and carefully evaluate whether or not it's the right fit for you. And as always, be cautious of dishonest agents like Jenny, who can make the experience much more challenging than it needs to be. If you have had a bad teaching experience in Vietnam or in other countries, please describe it in the comments. I hope that you all find a good employer and have a wonderful job abroad.